Minnesota in January. Am I right? Welcome to the garage. Part of the problem of having solar panels in Minnesota in January is that they get covered in snow. Now, a lot of people just wait it out and they let the sun naturally melt the panels off, but I'm kind of impatient. And if we look at the app right now, you'll see that the panels are only generating about 500 watts of electricity. It's 10.10 in the morning on a bright Saturday in January and uh, those panels should be producing around four or 5,000 watts of electricity. So uh, there's a very big difference. I'm not one to wait, so what I've done is I've fabricated a little bit of a contraption here. So this is a uh, roof rake. It's a 21 foot uh, Oahu, I don't remember the brand. I will post the affiliate link below in the description, uh, but it's a telescoping pole that extends up to 21 feet. And what I've done, is I've taken copper pipe insulation and put it along the bottom blade of the roof rake. I then wrap the whole thing in Gorilla Tape. Now, the point of clearing off your solar panels is you want to get the snow off without damaging the solar panels. And because solar panels are glass, they'll scratch, they'll crack, they're, they'll break. They're pretty tough, but you do have to be careful. So you don't want to put just a hard plastic roof rake up there. You will scratch them. Uh, a lot of people have used uh, like soft bristled brushes, but the angle of my roof and how high I have to get up there, it doesn't work. So this contraption works pretty well, and I will uh, take you outside now and show you how it works. Oh, and by the way, you're working with your solar panels and electricity, so don't burn the house down. So what a beautiful January day out here in the backyard, up on top of the roof, buried underneath all that snow, it's 45 solar panels. I have three arrays. There's a big one on the top of the roof there smaller one directly beneath it and a medium sized one over on the garage. Now looking at these you can obviously tell you can see why they're generating probably about 500 watts of electricity. Each one of those panels is rated at 330 watts for a total combined wattage over 14 kilowatts. That's at a, at a peak output. Obviously they're not going to be putting that out right now because they're covered in snow. So what do we do about it? There's a couple things we need for this project. First of all, layer up, because it is cold outside. Wind chill's about negative 10. Second thing, heated gloves. These gloves have battery packs in them to keep your hands warm while you're out here freezing your butt off. Third thing, your roof rake. Now the solar panels are up there in two different layers. So the first thing we're gonna do is scrape off the layer closest to the ground, and then we're gonna go to the layer above that. If we go in that order, it'll allow the snow on the top panels to come down off the bottom panels and it won't cake up at the bottom. So I'll show you how to do it. For the first section here, we're going to telescope out two sections of the roof rake. We're going to leave one section intact. Telescope out, twist the handles tight. Then you start on the bottom layer. So after I did the bottom layer, I discovered that we probably had some freezing rain last night as well. So if we get a little closer, you'll see that the panels have the snow off of them, but they're still pretty covered. Now the ice will come off uh, when the sun continues to hit them. And uh, it definitely isn't gonna be completely clear and it's not gonna maximize production right now, but it will absolutely help them uh, clear themselves off a little bit better. There's probably two, three inches of snow on top of them and that takes forever to melt. So uh, we may not increase or uh, maximize our production today, but we've definitely helped it in the days to come. All right, now that the bottom's totally cleared off, we're gonna telescope this out all the way and we're gonna do the top section.
we've got the entire garage array uncovered. And if you look in the app, you can see it started about 500 and some change watts and it started to build as soon as we started scraping it off. Now the clouds are kind of coming and going, so you're gonna see this wattage kind of go up and down, but uh, it did peak over 900 watts. And if we go to current, we're currently generating, uh, well back down to 540, but you can see the peaks and valleys there. That has to do more with the clouds, unfortunately, but you can see that we have definitely been uh, peaking out at far more than the 500 watts we started with. Now we're gonna do the, uh, the roof over the house, and I will finish that up. Don't need to show that on camera, but I'll meet you back in the garage. All right, so I have done the garage over there, as well as the roof up here, the main roof. Now, you can actually see some solar panel under there, but there's still a pretty decent little layer of ice, uh, and there's still quite a bit of snow on there, but it did remove a pretty good amount of the snow, and it did allow for some sun to come through. Now, solar panels, if they start to generate even a little bit of electricity, they will heat themselves up just a little bit, and uh, will, will definitely aid in melting that stuff off. Now, what I said earlier about a lot of people just wait and see. Well, I decided to give that a test. So if I wait and see on those panels over there, how long will it take for them to clear on their own? So my roof rake only reaches to about there. And so I'm gonna leave one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight panels over there completely covered and see how long it takes mother nature to clear them off. So that will be my next video. Uh, but for today, we'll call this day one. And let's go back inside the garage and see what that has done for production while I warm up a little bit. So we were able to get the panels cleaned off over the garage pretty well. Uh, like I showed you, there's a decent bit of ice on them still. And uh, even as good as that roof rake works, it doesn't get all the snow off, which is kind of by design. You don't want something that's gonna scrape right down to the glass on the solar panels, because then you can risk scratching it. So we did see a pretty decent uptick in production though. And unfortunately, the clouds have kind of come and gone throughout the morning as well. So I'll show you the production meter here. We have seen some definite increases in production uh, since we've been doing this, peaking about as high as a thousand watts, a little over a thousand watts there. So we have doubled our production by scraping off the panels that we did and that will pay dividends in the days to come. Like I said, as the panels heat up um, and as they start to generate some electricity, they will heat up a little bit. So uh, we'll see how they do in the coming days. This is gonna be day one. Um, my next video will start with day two and I'm gonna see just how long it takes those other panels to clear off on their own. So those will kind of be the control versus what we roof rake today. There's no snow in the forecast for the next three or four days, but it is going to be very cold. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Hey, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll post all of the Amazon affiliate links in the description below for the roof rake, the uh, pipe uh, cover, and then Gorilla Tape as well. Most of that stuff you can get at your local hardware store, but it is relatively cheap on Amazon. I'm also gonna post a link to my heated gloves down there. These things are a lifesaver if you live and work in a cold environment. Uh, you turn the button on, it provides you a couple hours of warm gloves. So when you're snow blowing, roof raking, or shoveling, these are a lifesaver. If you purchase anything off of the Amazon affiliate links, it doesn't cost you anything additional, but it does help support the channel. So I appreciate that support and it helps me to make more videos like this that hopefully you enjoy. Thanks again for watching. Don't burn the house down.